Hello, today I want to show you how you can use rock floss to clear up some hamstring tightness, soreness, and alleviate some muscle tension in the rear portion of the leg. So what this floss does is it provides compression to your skin, the fascia, the muscles, tendons, and the things that are underlying in the skin. Now, when you stretch this band and apply it, what happens is it's going to press and also squeeze um, against the skin and therefore anytime you make any changes to the position of your body it's going to be pressing and moving the skin and therefore all everything underneath the skin as well what this is going to do is it's going to decrease inflammation and swelling in the area which is going to improve some blood flow um, restore quality of movement and decrease overall levels of soreness tissue damage inflammation but what it can also do is aid your recovery time if you apply it and use it both before a training session and after a training session. So yesterday I went on a half marathon run and what I'm feeling is just some discomfort on my right side. Um, I know I had some ham lingering hamstring issue a few weeks back and maybe it wasn't totally cleared up. So what I'm going to do today is apply this rock floss in combination with a few specific exercises and some foam rolling in order to clear up some of that pain and tightness and hopefully break up those fascial adhesions by stimulating an abundance of blood flow to the area and through this compression thinking of it like a, a deep tissue massage for the area so what I did is I started close towards the knee and I worked my way up towards the hamstring I'm feeling my tightness in about this range um, you can shift the floss up or down just depending on where you may be feeling it. And then before I dive into foam rolling, all I'm going to do is just take myself into a supported lunge, a low lunge position, just simply rock forward and backwards. Now since the tape, or since the floss I should say, is applying some pressure, as I sink backward, the skin is being manipulated both forwards, backwards, and rolled, which is basically just enhancing this stretch and position to loosen up whatever junk is going on under the skin. So after I feel a bit of this motion being loosened up, my next step is to now apply some pressure. In this case, I'm gonna use just a, a rumble roller. If you have um, a traditional foam roller um, or anything else you use for myofascial release, that'll work perfectly as well. So now on top of having the compression from the floss, the compression from the roller is just adding another element of pressure trying to again restore blood flow to the area um, push out any junked up fluid um, or inflammation that they may be sitting in the area now after again take a few passes all I'm going to do then is maybe do a retest so I'd hop back into that lunge position and as I come back up into this lunge position and rock forward and backwards, I'm feeling maybe about 20% less tight and stiff, um, which is great. So now what I'm gonna do from there is I'm just gonna progress into a bit of a deeper variation since my body's allowing me to be a bit less um, on the defensive mode. It's freeing up some of the restriction that was held in the area to bring back a bit more of an optimal range of motion or a bit more of where I would be if I wasn't a muscularly fatigued or feeling stiff or broken down so what this floss is allowing me to do is to access a deeper range of motion bringing more hydration fluid and length to the tissues in the back of the leg where before now they were feeling stiff and tight and in a defensive mode because they're feeling um, fatigued or slightly inflamed and irritated because I put them on a two-mile run yesterday how mean of me right okay now that this is feeling great what I'm going to do is then begin to strengthen the area. So by having the floss on and now activating the muscle, it's going to provide the same principle. It's going to overload the area with stimulation, allowing more blood to just travel to the region. And this is something that I would prescribe um, to anyone that would be experiencing low back pain or tippered, stiff or tight hamstrings or feeling honestly a bunch of hip flexor tightness since all the muscles in the lower legs are interconnected. Now, after somewhere between 10 and 15 repetitions, I would go back 
I would release with the foam roller one more time, and then from there I would do a nice test, whether it be a forward fold, throwing my legs up off the wall, or doing a single leg toe tap. What those tests are going to allow me to do is see if there was a change. So off of camera, before I started shooting this video, I was doing single leg deadlifts or single leg toe taps just to gauge how much discomfort was present in the area. And I rated it maybe like a, a 4 out of 10 or so. 4 out of 10 on the discomfort scale. Just enough to notice I was tight and it was a bit uncomfortable to get to that bottom or the end range of motion and hip flexion. So, what I'm going to do here is remove this floss, take a few steps back so I can fit into the camera frame, and then I'm just going to take some single leg toe taps. So, I'm going to come right on into the camera actually. What you can see is an abundance of red lines up and down my thigh. So what that is, is that was holding in a lot of heat and blood flow to the area, almost oversaturating it. That's a very good thing that we were looking for. That means the floss was doing its job properly. So now what I'm gonna do is take a few steps back, hold them in the camera at this point, and with both feet down flat on the floor, I'm just gonna take a nice big forward fold uh, right now my sides are feeling about equal. Maybe my, my right side is down to like a, a 2 out of 10, feeling just a slight bit stiff. Now, I'm going to go with this single leg variation. This was my fresh leg on my left side, and I'm able to very comfortably bring both feet or both palms down to the floor. Nose is able to touch my knee without really any discomfort, no restriction. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my right side. Let's see how it feels. Um, this was something I was not able to get both hands flat to the floor prior to the floss. So I'm still holding a little bit of tightness. You can see this knee is wanting to stay a splash more bent than my left side. So I'm going to rate it here still about a 2 out of 10. But I am able to bring my knee all the way in towards my nose. And I'm able to access a much deeper, greater, greater range of motion. What does that mean if I can access a greater range of motion? That means, A, I'm not going to get stiff and bound up. I'm going to maintain mobility and flexibility. B, I can recover and bounce back into a workout, a training session faster because now my recovery process is speeding up because I can actually stretch in that area and not feel like I'm walking on eggshells for the rest of the day. C, it's going to turn down my body's central nervous system in thinking about pain and thinking about being in discomfort. When you feel good, you continue to feel good. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, chances are you're going to focus on feeling uncomfortable until you feel better. So this is just speeding up that process of feeling better physically. Just like you would brush and floss your teeth every day, it's important to roll and floss your body um, quite frequently, much more so than many people are doing today. So if you want to purchase your own set of floss bands, what you can do is head over to Amazon or rocktape.com or a quick Google search will do just great. Um, and you can pick up a pair for yourself. I'm a huge proponent in feeling something to believe it. Um, just because sometimes words are a little bit more transparent. And once you feel the change, you go, holy sh... So, if you're interested, pick up your own set of bands. If you're in the Hudson Valley, stop by at Orca Empire Fitness. And I'd love to square away some movement prescription for you so you can continue to move, feel, and live better every day. Thank you so much. Take care.